Hi, welcome back to Self-Discovery Support. And today we have a reading. We're starting off thinking about abundance and creating stable structures for you. Creating something that is going to be lasting. So I want to find out a little bit more what messages there are about this for you. like we start with the story of something difficult in the past maybe not having as much as you wanted or having some kind of project or venture that didn't quite go well in your finances in your career in your kind of material wealth building feel like you are receiving from something this could have been a job you were receiving a regular kind of support something like a salary you're receiving um some kind of support through money and i feel like something happened there yeah you were it's like you had to wait a long time. There must, have, there might have been a boss that you were dealing with. It could have been some kind of a boss, where there. I feel like if we're talking about career and work, and money, your finances. I feel like you had to wait a long time at whatever situation this was a job, that it just didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out. It could actually have been quite an upsetting experience. Yeah, and I feel like you maybe are wanting to have... You feel like it was unfair, is what I'm seeing. It's like, you feel like you, you definitely deserve uh, karmic justice in this. Yeah, I feel like you are working, you're, you're putting it out there. To see if you can actually achieve this. So this does seem like your goal here is to create this stability. And this could be current. It could be past. Or this could be upcoming. Where you are wanting to receive the benefit of something. Or receive the benefit of your hard work. You are perhaps wanting to become the boss. Maybe start your own business and you feel like that would be the fair thing to happen to be able to manifest this wealth. But I feel like there's a lot of fear here. Like you are worried. There's a lot of worry about whether you'll be able to kind of really bring something in, whether you'll be able to put the work in, whether it will actually work, right? But I think the thing here is that what you need is just planning, what you need is just steady plotting, planning, and just going towards something. You may also want to partner with people. You may also want to collaborate as a way to bring this finance, this financial abundance in, is what I want to say. This steady, strong prosperity, this kind of steady foothold for yourself. Yeah, if there's an opportunity that you have where, you know, Two can partner, three can partner, whoever, where you know that everyone brings something to the table and you can work together to, to kind of create something beautiful, something that would be really beneficial to people. I feel like the advice here is to, to do that. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's definitely telling me that this is what would create the stability for you. This is, this is almost a pathway is if you found that you've been doing something on your own and you haven't had the success that you want, I feel like 
this is the opportunity to collaborate. You may be the boss, right? You may end up being the one that runs the project, the company, the business. But I do feel you're going to benefit from doing that. And also, it's like working on your craft and putting it out there in the world as well. So if you're thinking of starting something like, I don't know, a YouTube channel or... <laughs> You're thinking of starting a product line of some kind. I feel like I, I'm feeling heavily like a service. I don't know why. I just I'm hearing that like you're watching. You want to create a service. Yeah. Something that you do that you do well that others can benefit from. This is going to be the pathway to your stability. All right, let's find out a little bit more. Okay, so there's something maybe in the past that you thought was going to really be fulfilling. It was going to really, maybe it was something that you loved also. It could have been a career that you loved or a project or a, doing some kind of craft that you loved but you've had to kind of I feel like you've had to open up and move on from this and that has been really heartbreaking that you had to give up your passion to kind of move on to create stability yeah I feel like you're moving on because you did feel stuck if this was a job that used to be very fulfilling I think it, you know you know or in the past you felt a little bit stuck and, now, and then you started to have like a new idea. Okay, how it's almost like going back. Like how can I, how can I revisit being? How can I revisit something that I loved? Again and do it almost better this time. How can I? Um, almost take a new passion as well. So you may have several passions you may be good at various things which a lot of us are a lot of humans are so say you're good at brewing beer and that didn't work out but you're also good at um, editing videos and you feel like that's a passion that could be something that you start to turn once again to and i feel like it's in that second trial or second third fourth trial i feel like it's a third trial that you would really find empowerment yeah so you and you would be moving from a place of feeling defeated to almost having this victory heavily in your energy is working with people there's a lot of working with people to have a victory where there was defeat You've kind of healed that and you've gone again and victory here. Yeah. All right, let's get a little bit more information on. I want to find out what you can do. What are some next steps for you? Perse perseverance, right? You've come through you've come through a hard period and we did see that here before. But the thing to do is like keep going, push through because you're almost there. It's just that it's almost like tweaking the idea. And it, there's this strong energy of going towards something that you love. It may not have been the first or second thing, but I think there's something here and there's something in building your foundation with something that is emotionally fulfilling. Yeah, if, you, if, if there was something that was not emotionally fulfilling, it's a time to move on from that and kind of refresh regenerate you know what's also true is it also being honest with yourself is this 
is this something that I love and is this something that I can benefit from, I can profit from? Is this something that almost almost being like laser sharp in your focus on how you're going to execute it to maybe a little bit more planning and consideration this time and also honesty like so if if you have the talent to let's say edit videos but you just you detest sitting for hours or you you don't find it pleasurable to work with people work for people or have project based jobs then it's about it's time to admit the truth to that and then move to the thing that is actually the destined thing there's a big choice ahead of you i do see that a big choice and you know the thing is that that is a choice that's actually going to bring you to your destined path and away from any issues with scarcity yeah it's going to Things are, are are set to kind of come into balance again. Yeah. And there's something here about um, acknowledging when something needs to end. When, when there needs to be an ending to something. So knowing that if you have something that's ongoing, it's draining you. Do your research. Be curious. Right? And we're back again where we started. We're back at this would be the time when things would come in now. This would be the point at which things would be even, level, and you would be able to receive. Yeah. So this is your reading. I hope that it found some resonance for you and it was useful. Um, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you back here. Thank you.